Hey y'all, this is Billy and William from Perma Pastures Farm. Here we are in our next flip, and here's my little sidekick right here. Well, there's my real sidekick, but here's my other sidekick, Milk Boy. That's his name, Milk Boy, and you gotta say it that way or he's not gonna come. Ain't that right, Milk Boy? He's a little soggy because he's been out there playing with the sheep, and now he's excited just to be up here around human company, which he doesn't, he doesn't get a whole lot of during the day, but anyway... He's glad to be here right now, and he's going to do his own little part in compost flipping. So, folks, here we are today. It's been raining cats and dogs. Normally, we put these videos out early and not long after we do them. But in this particular case, you know, who wants to flip compost in the rain? So if you do have to wait a day, if that's your situation, then do what you must. But today, we're going to talk about... What are we going to talk about, son? Uh, not getting discouraged making your your 18 day compost, chances are it's not gonna work out your first shot. Um, I lucked out when I was in Australia, Jeff Lawton taught me, you know, hands on how to make 18 day compost. And my full time job there was to make 18 day compost. So you learn pretty quickly in that type of environment, but if you're doing it at home, if it's your first time, don't get discouraged. It'll just take longer to turn into compost. Well, then also, folks, remember that this is part of the reason why we broke this series down into a vlog-type format, because we knew in the first video we did, there were so many questions, and rightfully so, I mean, for people that we had, we had made too many assumptions. So we did it this way to break it down each week to show you the development of it and also to address problems that you're almost certainly going to run into. Now, there are a number of people out there that are putting this together and with, you know, making adjustments. It's going to happen, folks. Like when I was learning how to do the chicken tractor on steroids, I mentioned it before that I had three of them going at the same time and could not get it right. It took me six months doing three tractors at the same time before I could finally get that thing to a point because there's you're using all these different elements brought together. So, folks, just don't give up. You can do this. And at these times, we're doing this in real time, so everybody's well aware of the the shortages of fuel and and obviously the, the things that are going on in the grocery store and how maybe you're not paying more for a certain item, but you're noticing there's less in a bag. Folks, it's all inflation. And this, okay, yeah, there's ways out there to hedge your investment like gold. Some people say Bitcoin and a number of other things. But think about your food security, folks. This right here is a way to hedge. This is growing your own food and saving you money, growing your own money if you choose to look at it that way. So that's why we're putting so much time into showing, A, not only the 18-day compost, but also other methods too, such as the 30-day compost method, which is what's going to be unfolding in the chicken tractor on steroids. But you'll have this as a great backdrop. Also, the temperature check for this week. So last week it was at... I think we're... Not, well, it wasn't last week, the last flip. Or last flip, it was at... Uh, I think 130. I think it was 130 in the last flip. Let's see what we got now. And hopefully Milk Boy isn't getting into something, or got it wrong, Milk Boy isn't getting into something he's not supposed to be getting into. So this week it's at uh, 1.30 again. And it, it just rained. We had a tarp over it, which the reason you put a tarp over it is so the moisture content of the pile doesn't change depending on the weather. So if it's sunny all day, it doesn't dry out. If it rains, it doesn't get waterlogged and anaerobic. And remember, go back to that first video where we discuss the composition and why we try on the front end to put all the moisture in this you're gonna need. That's what the tarp's there to help out for. And the next, the next flip, we'll discuss how to fix any water issues that you might have. If there's too much water, if there's not enough water, we'll discuss that on the next flip. And also remember folks, in the, compo in the components that we have in this, there was a fair amount of wood chips also. So if it looks like that's not broken down, well, that's, that's by design. So later on, when we get to the end of it, and by Saturday, this is going to be complete. When that's done, we'll show you ways in which you could sift that out if you had to. Ready to get after it, son? Hopefully that dog ain't up there doing something he's not supposed to. Yeah, I think he ran up to the house. Yeah. He's tired of being wet. <laughs>
All right, y'all, here we go. We got another flip down. You can see the steam coming off of it. You know, it's this time of year and you can still see steam coming out of my breath. So it's a crazy year, folks. And we'll hopefully address some of that this Friday when we do live again. But also I want to point out real quickly, things like this, like the eggshells, we put almost seven gallons of eggshells in here. And through the composting process, folks, they're largely gone. Well, they're not gone. They're assimilated into everything. You can no longer tell by and large what anything is. It's all started in that breaking down process. That's what it's supposed to do. So white things like eggshells, you see very, very little of them right now. But folks, what we want to leave you with is remember, as you're going through this, especially when you start out, just like anything, you're going to feel like a pig on roller skates when you first start out doing these things. You just got to stay at it because you can do it. And folks, at this time, I'm not throwing in a fear factor or anything, but there has never been a more consequential time of growing your own food. And this can be one awesome means of you making that happen right at your home. And so folks, keep in mind, if you mess this up, you just made very, very good mulch. Right. So like right. worst case scenario, you make the best mulch you can get. Exactly. And that's what we've done in the past, at least what I've done in the past. When I've messed it up, I've made it essentially fortified mulch. I don't know if that's a real thing, but that's what I called it. And guess what? Give it enough time, it will break down. No doubt about it. So don't give up. Stay encouraged. Remember, this stuff is life. And life is, it's the life in this soil that we're using to break it down. So we're lassoing those microbes, put them in, putting them to work for us, and coming out with stuff that, you know, that you can't possibly buy, folks, just like all the things you do at your home. So on behalf of my son, William, the Pastor Ray's pimp and Billy, the permaculture pimp daddy, where pimp stands for permaculture, is my passion. Stay with it, and we'll see you next time, folks.